Hey guys, today's video I'm going to show you how to do this half skull makeup tutorial. I found that the easiest way to do this look was first to create a border. You're going to first create the outline where you want the mask to begin or end. The outline of my mask is going to be black, so I made the little marks in black to know where I want the border to be, but now I'm going to take the white and fill in the rest of the border using this. You need to be precise with this, but if you do mess up, don't worry, you can fix it later with foundation or concealer. Just try and make the lines as precise and symmetrical as you can. The shape is actually up to you. This is just the shape that I chose to do, but I am going to bring this border all the way around. Next, I'm gonna create little blocked areas, sort of if you were painting or coloring by number. So all areas that I'm going to have white, I'm going to block off and fill in, and then any areas I'm going to have black, I'll leave that for now. Once the white areas are blocked off and ready, I'm going to fill them in using this jumbo pencil. And now I'm going to take a white matte eyeshadow and set this right over top the pencil. Doing this part will get rid of any excess shine and it will also be a little bit more opaque for you. So next I'm gonna start the nose and I would say Google an image of a skull if you can for the teeth and nose if you want to know for sure what it looks like. You can also just copy the pattern that I chose to do as well. So the black jumbo pencil is going to give depth and structure any areas that you want to look like are sunken in or the holes of the face. So I'm just gonna fill in my nose area uh, completely with this black pencil. The only real sort of definition I'm giving it is a white line down the middle to sort of separate the two areas of the nose. To make sure I'm getting a very clean line and to get in the smaller areas, I'm using a very small brush with this. So I'm interchanging between the black and white to make a very precise clean cut line. For those of you that carve your brows, this is sort of the same technique. So now I'm going to go to moving into the teeth area and I'm going to fill in more of the white using the pencil as well as the white eyeshadow. So for this section I'm going to fill in my lip and chin area. I'm also going to bring it back on my jawline but I am leaving the area that you would contour. That's the sunken in area of the face so that's going to have black in it. Now for the teeth. This is the most tedious and stressful part of the look. This mask is about layering and a lot of fine lines. So just do the best you can with a steady hand and for this I'm using a very small liquid eyeliner brush. I found this was the easiest to use. It was also the smallest brush that I had. Oh and make sure you check out the description box. All the products, brands, everything will be listed there if you want to know exactly what I'm using. For the teeth I pretty much just felt around my lip area and saw where my teeth were and I kind of just used that as a guideline. The teeth that we have that are pointier, I just made those into kind of fang looking teeth, but it's up to you. You can keep them regular or make them kind of scary, however you want to do it. So it's really repetitive. It's basically just making a ton of lines that match the natural form of your teeth. Or if you want to make them sharp, you can do it that way too. So I'm going to zoom through this, but you can watch and see how I did it. Just remember that the black gives the depth and the definition. The white is going to be more pushed forward. So as you can see, once my front teeth are done, I'm going to pull this backwards all the way to the little blank area that we left. So now that my teeth are all done, I'm going to start adding some definition in the whole mask itself. 
So using a black wet eyeshadow and a very small brush, I'm going to create expression lines and definition. I'm also using the same products to fill in the border that we marked off in the beginning. So you're gonna bring this black line all the way around outside the white line we already did. I'm really trying to dumb down the steps that I've done for this to make it as easy as possible for you guys to follow, so I apologize if I sound silly or repetitive. <laughs> but hopefully this is all making sense. And again, when doing this tutorial, make sure that you're using your eyeshadows wet to do this. It'll give more of a paint effect and it'll glide easier, or you can just use face paint, it's up to you. So now that my border is done, I'm going to go back in and fill in the jawline area and I'm still using the same product, same color, and I'm just filling this in to create more of a realistic jaw structure. This is going to create the sunken in or the hole of the jaw area that you naturally have. And then you can see I bring it all the way back with a fine line to the end of the mask and then I'm going to fill in the rest with the white. So now the finishing touches to the mask itself are going to be more expression lines which I'm mainly going to do around the jawline area. These are really just very fine lines and shadowing to give more of a sunken in effect. So now I'm gonna fill in my brows really quick. I wanted my eyes to be sort of put together, more of a glamorous skull look. It's up to you which way you want to do the eyes, if you want them to be pretty or if you want to do something scary. So I had nothing on my face to start this video, so I'm just going to fill in with a little bit of foundation on my forehead and upper cheek area, or under eye rather. The eye look itself, I wanted to go with more of a smudged, grungy, kind of runway look. But at the same time, it's still oddly glamorous and pulled together. It's really a one-step eye look, so I'm just taking a mixture between a reddish brown and a black eyeshadow and smudging it all on my lids. And that's it for it. No mascara, no nothing. Contacts are optional. I did add black contacts, but again, that's up to you. Other than that, you guys are done with this look. So if you have any other questions, make sure you read the description box or comment below. Thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later. Have a great day.